I'm Jason Grenauer with the latest from Denver 7. This weekend, the first doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine went into people's arms here in Colorado. This first shipment was the 45,500 dose count, but it will take a little bit longer to get the next one. The governor expects another 67,000 or so doses by March 28th. He says it's possible we could get more in two weeks. Practice can begin tomorrow for the next season of high school sports. The state health department has approved variances for season C sports. That includes field hockey, gymnastics, girls volleyball, boys soccer, bowling and spring football. Practice can now begin next Monday, March 8th. Games can start the week after that on the 15th. A task force is recommending changes to better secure the U.S. Capitol and improve response time of backup after January's deadly riot. The new report recommends both mobile and retractable fencing around the Capitol. It also suggests an integrated system of sensors, cameras and alarms, as well as security upgrade upgrades at lawmakers, district offices and homes. Beautiful mild weather on the way to start the week. Afternoon highs hovering around 70 degrees. Then we have a cold front moving in. Some much needed moisture headed our way. Rain and snow into Wednesday. Highs dropping into the low 50s. Cooler air Thursday and Friday. Rain and snow chances show up here in our forecast. And we even have chances for rain into Saturday as well with highs in the mid 40s. And yes, on Sunday we do spring forward. We have that time change headed our way. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks so much for joining us. Check back here a little bit later on for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jason Grenauer.